All right, Mac users, it's time for us to try to get an AMP server set up, uh, or really a MAMP server, Mac, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. So we start at the beginning going to this website, to download MAMP, and so we click download, and it's ready to download for Mac OS X, which is what I'm using, so I click download, and it's going, if it takes a while, I will probably just cut this part out of the video so that you don't have to watch it download. All right, finally finished downloading, so I'm going to keep the downloaded file and then run the downloaded file. Continue. 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 I agree. I'd like to install. I enter my password. Okay, it's finally finished installing, so I can close the installer, and now I'll probably try to put it onto the dock so that I can find it easily. Now I'm ready to open the program. I'm going to launch the regular MAMP. I don't need the pro version. And then I start the servers. And wait. And now I've got a live Apache server, MySQL server, and PHP is also running on my web server. So it's all built into one program. I install one thing and it all works. And so now that I've downloaded and installed my server, started my server, I want to practice in the MySQL console. In order to do that on a Mac, I do need to open a terminal. So if I go back to Applications, Under Utilities, the terminal will be here. I'm going to put it on my dock so I don't have to keep coming back here. Open a terminal. From my terminal window, I need to navigate to the place where my MySQL binary file exists. Start in Applications, go to MAMP, Library, Bin, and here are all our executable binaries. So I'd like to CD, change the directory to Applications, MAMP, Library, Bin. Then within this folder, I need to execute the MySQL binary if I want to have a MySQL console. And so, dot slash mysql will execute the mysql command on the command line my username is root and my password is also root if you're unsure check the map startup page it's over here root root right here with username and password so once i've entered that information on the command line it prompts me for my mysql password which by default is root so I hit enter and here we go, MySQL command prompt, exactly as we'd hoped. So what is our goal here? First, let's take a look at what databases we have. Just our standard administrative databases that come with the installation. So I'd like to create a new database. I'm going to call it Cape Cod because I know that's what I need in order to be able to uh, use the files from our textbook. So I'm going to call it Cape Cod. And now if I show databases again, there's a brand new one in our list called Cape Cod. 
I'm going to continue using the Cape Cod database by typing use Cape Cod and now I can check out what tables exist in this database. So far there are none. That makes sense. You just watched me create it. I never put any new tables or created any new tables in the database and so there are no tables to show right now. To fix that we'll go back to Moodle and download the two files from our textbook and these will exist by default in my downloads folder and so if I open up a new terminal can again navigate, change the directory to get to applications, MAMP, library, bin. Then I'm ready to execute my SQL again with the root user, with the password, but instead of going directly into the database, I'm going to say I'd like to look at the Cape Cod database and a less than sign which means I'm going to import this file and the file that I want to import is in downloads and what is it called? The path to our file is users slash Angela slash downloads for my database password again, which is root by default. It takes a few seconds and then it gives me no errors, which means I've successfully added these tables to the database. If I go back to my MySQL prompt and prompt and type show tables again, now all these tables which are mentioned and described in the textbook are existing in the database that I've set up. That's all for now as our review of today's class, but next week we'll get into this in a lot more detail.